USDA's first planting update shows U.S. farmers have sown 3% of this year's corn crop, on pace with the nation's five-year average. Texas leads the nation with 59% complete, followed by North Carolina with 10%. Neither Nebraska nor Iowa had recorded a percentage. To look ahead at potential challenges in the 2017 season, this week we talked with Nebraska Extension's Greg Kruger about controlling mare's tail. It's one of several weeds resistant to glyphosate in Nebraska, and a recent study illustrated just how widespread that resistance is. Greg joined us in studio Tuesday. We started by asking for a background of mare's tail resistance in Nebraska. The first glyphosate resistant uh, weed we had was mare's tail. Uh, we're still dealing with it today, unfortunately. Uh, it's one of those that uh, I consider pretty much ubiquitous, uh, Jeff. It's everywhere. And so uh, uh, just about anywhere we see it, uh, we're going to be dealing with it. And it's primarily a no-till weed, so uh, if uh, we're out there tilling up the, the ground still, which is pretty uncommon, uh, we're probably not dealing with mare's tail. But most of our other places in the state, uh, there's a, a high probability that uh, it's something we could end up dealing with. You've done some sampling across the state to try and find out how widespread the resistance problem is. Tell me the story. I'm trying not to smile on this one because it's really not a, a great story yeah. in terms of uh, what we're dealing with. Uh, but uh, when we collected over 150 populations from across Nebraska, uh, uh, brought them back to our greenhouse and uh, screened them out for resistance, we found 98% of them uh, from row crop uh, areas were glyphosate resistant. So it's one of those that uh, not only is the weed pr pretty ubiquitous in the state, uh, if we're dealing with this weed in row crop areas, so we might as well consider it uh, glyphosate resistant. So uh, we're going to want to manage appropriately because of that. But in non-row crop areas? Yeah, so that's a, a whole different story. Uh, we, we did uh, some work there as well, so we collected another 50 or so populations there. And actually, uh, interestingly enough, even though 98% of them in row crop areas are resistant, uh, not a single one of the populations that we collected from non-row crop areas were glyphosate resistant. So uh, it's, uh, I guess, a little bit of a story of hope uh, that if we go away from using uh, glyphosate that uh, that tool might actually become a, a tool back in our arsenal to manage a, a mare's tail at some point in time. All right, tell me about the emergence uh, patterns here of mare's tail. Yeah, so uh, when we talk about mare's tail, uh, it's always important to keep in mind the biology. It's a little bit different than managing a lot of other weed species. Uh, we found that we'll actually germinate uh, 10 months out of the year here in Nebraska. Uh, January and February are just a little too cold here, but uh, the rest of the year it's uh, seem to find a way to uh, emerge and because of that uh, uh, we've got to be proactive in how we manage it. Uh, most of what we see emerge is going to emerge in the fall and so we want to make sure that we're getting out there in the fall uh, as soon as the combines come out to try to get ahead of it or if we can't do that uh, and then there's situations where we just can't get out in the fall. Uh, we want to be out there first thing in the spring. Uh, Mayor's tells one of those that once it starts to bolt or it starts to, to grow up uh, it becomes much more difficult to manage than when it's in that little rosette form that it's going to overwinter in. So if we're this late in spring, what are your control options? At this point in the spring, uh, we want to make sure uh, uh, before we plant the field that we've done something, everything we can to put down some sort of a, a, a burn down, heavy burn down. Uh, in a lot of cases, this means going to something like uh, Paraquat, uh, which is not real exciting to our growers uh, uh, because of uh, uh, other issues that we deal with with that herbicide, but something like Paraquat, uh, certainly a 2,4-D or a, a Dicamba, as long as we've got enough of an emergence window before we plant soybeans. Uh, uh, going into corn, uh, not a problem. If we're going Dicamba uh, tolerant uh, soybeans this year, uh, uh, that opens up a little bit of a window to use that uh, tool uh, a little bit closer to planting than what we have in the past. So uh, those are certainly uh, uh, the, probably the best options we have herbicide-wise uh, today. Uh, tillage is still a great option uh, for management of mare's tail. Uh, not that I'm promoting tillage across the state of Nebraska, but uh, uh, certainly for the management of this particular species, that's an option we've got in the toolbox as well.